Hey, what's going on YouTubers? Femin Show here, back at it once again with another video. It has been way too long, way too long since my last video. Today we're going to be talking about, of course, I'm joined by Matthew. What's up, Matthew? Hi, it's me. It's, it's Matthew. you. <laughs> it's been we're too here. long. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's been three weeks since my last video. Or not counting that uh, Switch um, reveal thing, but. Yeah, did you ever upload that? No, I never did, unfortunately. Like, the internet was just so bad at the motel, I couldn't. Uh. I, just, I just couldn't. Anyway, um, I'm in my new apartment. I'm in Yonkers, New York right now. There's trains in the background. If you hear that, I'm sorry. There's like boats and stuff out there as well. Um, but today we are going to be talking about Super Mario Switch or just, I mean, I guess that's all we can call it right that's now. That's all we can call it right now. I, yeah, I recently watched a Game Explain video giving a video analysis of that little snippet of gameplay that we got. There's some things that I want to talk about here. There's some things because it was kind of dipping into stuff I've mentioned in previous videos. I did like a uh, NX wishlist kind of video where I talked about an open world type of Mario game and I don't know if this is that but there's definitely some things that I mentioned we, we talked yeah we talked about our first impressions too mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. discussion yeah definitely I'm probably gonna link that in the description below so you guys can check that reaction out and the discussion that we did on Phenom Sage's channel but let's just jump right in okay so before... wait, wait. okay say what you're gonna say first I was gonna say before we jump into like the discussion I kind of just wanted to get your quick thoughts on uh, the new type of Mario game that we're going to be getting. Oh, you, you know my thoughts. You know them. That's why I want you in this discussion. Right, I was, right. was going to do this alone, but I was just like, why not just bring Phenom Sage in here? I mean, why not have two people in here? Yeah. Plus, I think we have we have somewhat different opinions on yeah. what, what <laughs> this is and uh, how we feel about it. So yeah, yeah. it's good. I am not a fan. So far, I'm going to put that little cliff note up there so far <laughs> because, I mean, clearly they could come out of nowhere during January, during the reveal and show like something completely different or more on what this is and it'll look more impressive to me. But right yeah. now, I'm not too impressed. It looks kind of like three. It looks like a 3D world meets. Well, honestly, it just looks like 3D world and I'm not a fan of that. I know a lot of people love 3D World. It's a very loved game by a lot of people. Like, it was really well received. I, yeah, I own it. Haven't even put it in my Wii U. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I I liked it. I wouldn't say I loved it, though. Yeah. It's one of those things where, like, I just think about how much I love every 3D Mario game. 64, Sunshine, Galaxy, Galaxy 2 all of them i yeah, fucking yeah. every single one of those games and then i compare it to what they've done with the series with 3d land and 3d world and it's just not not what i want i want to go back i want yeah. to go back but so, before what no go ahead go ahead oh well i was going to transition that into a whole different thing so <laughs> but say what you want first well i i strongly strongly disagree with you Oh, I man. think that this is going to be the next big 3D Mario game. I think um, it could be. I, I never said I, like, I'm just saying what it looks like yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like I, three seconds of gameplay. I get that. I get, I'm get. i here to alleviate those concerns, though, because there's some things. I'm watching this Game Explain um, analysis video. I'm going to put the link to that in the description so you guys can check it out. Game Explain, awesome channel. Um, but there's some things. There's some things in that little snippet of gameplay that really... Um, kind of go against what you're thinking. Okay. But um, I'd like to. I like. I should preface this by saying I have not watched the Game Explain video. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I think it's I, kind of good could, that you have. It could prove me wrong. Yeah. Prove me wrong, please. Okay. So in the beginning of this uh, of the gameplay that we see during the reveal trailer and uh, it, obviously this video as well, there is this town. It's like a Day of the Dead kind of style, or like in this kind of Mexico desert looking area, which I think is really cool. It's some, something yeah, we really haven't very seen in Mario not seen, before. Yeah, unseen location. <laughs> so just on the screen alone, first things first, there's NPCs. I don't know if you've noticed that there's NPCs everywhere. Are those NPCs? NPCs though, or are they like models that like are acting as NPCs, but they're basically just decorations for the background? I, I I don't think so because you see them. They're like in certain little areas. There's one by this little shop, which by the way, there's a little shop back there that says like Shops. super hats. Shops. Yeah. What? If you look at the the in little my building, Mario. Yes. <laughs> there's like a building that says super hats above it, and it looks like that door is interactive. So oh, fuck hats. Yeah, I don't know what that could possibly mean. I don't know if Mario's going to be wearing different hats. That that'd sounds... Be, or maybe, that'd be like yeah. 64 DS style, like yeah. changing powers hats. That yeah, actually that's... does sound awesome. 
yeah, there, there, there's definitely a lot happening on screen here. There's an umbrella in the corner that has like little purple uh, arrows pointing down on it. Now, I actually initially thought that that was like, oh, like it indicates that you can jump on it or maybe you can pick it up or something. But I actually think those are pickups. Like you can pick up these little purple like coins that... That doesn't Maybe look like a coin, though. That looks like a triangle. If you, I mean, not coins, obviously, but if you notice, it's kind of hard to notice. They're kind of spinning, like they're spinning, like they are pickups. And there's some like on the rooftops up there in the buildings above. Oh, they um, totally are spinning. Yeah. So I'm okay. thinking that those are pickups. Like you jump on that and pick up those coins and then that's maybe a currency or some other type of. Yeah, like cat currency for the yeah. thing. I, I have no idea. Um, also. Uh, something really cool is this bus stop here. Now, I, I don't know if that means anything. I, I have like some crazy theories about what oh, we're I seeing have, here. I want to hear my craziest theory right now, like just right off the bat. You see that moon up there? Yeah. We're going. We're fucking <laughs> you going. Th okay, do, okay, how much do you believe that this could be Mario Galaxy 3 or like Mario Universe? Oh, it's not Galaxy 3. I seriously doubt it. I don't. I don't think so either. I, I like just right off the bat you can tell it's a very different style although it, I'm not discounting the theory entirely because galaxy really did involve like just randomly going into places like this with like their own cultures and civilizations and just like stopping by and going through it so yeah yeah you know it could be galaxy 3 but I don't think so I think they're gonna call it something different yeah but just um, that, the way it's so prevalent in in the sky I think it's like super important yeah I, I think it is too um, some other things, uh, like a theme that's throughout all the gameplay that we see is there's ice everywhere. I, ice? I don't know if you, yeah, like the I fountain. I thought those were crystals. The fountain in the distance is frozen. What? And yeah, look at the fountain in the distance. That's frozen. I there's it was like flowing. a, there's like a mist that's kind of emitting from it. So that's what, that's what makes me think it's ice. Um, you see like little blocks of ice by the shops that are kind of like covering certain areas. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I, I'm assuming it's ice. Maybe it's just like crystals that have some kind of aura around it. I'm not quite sure. It looks like ice because that looks like frozen water to me. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I think you're right with the frozen water because like they're really making a point to just say like this is frozen in the air. Like it's yeah, not like yeah. crystals where they would be decorations. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, before we go into like more specific things, I just want to ask like a very general question. What do you think about the graphics? Um, I think Mario, on it, it's like, when I first saw this, I was like, why does Mario look kind of weird? Like, I thought he just looked kind of skinny, almost, in a certain sense. Yeah. I don't really, that's, I mean, obviously something else, but I like the graphics. I really do. If you notice, there's uh, footprints when he's walking. Like, the, he leaves footprints on the ground, which is really cool. I like the uh, the cloud animations or, like, the dust animations when he does his triple jump. Um, you like I, those? Yeah, I, I uh, like them. I think it looks cool. I think it's they it's look a cool detail not good <laughs> that's actually my least favorite part about the graphics um is those... but I, I like I, I mean obviously again this is not the final product we, we, we i know, know but that. like if you're showing off your next gen console i would have thought that they'd like to like show off like what yeah. mario looks like now and honestly yeah. like i'm just gonna straight out say it. this looks like wii u mario it just looks like a wii u mario game running it doesn't look like something i would think of when i think of next gen mario yeah, yeah, I, I get those concerns as well. That kind of makes sense because um, it doesn't look fantastic. It looks good. Like, Mario games always look well, good. Look at, it's just how I would compare, like, it's how I would compare when I think of Galaxy 2 and then I saw the trailer for 3D World and I was like, Jesus Christ, this looks incredible Yeah. compared yeah. to Galaxy 2. Yeah. Whereas this, I'm just like, eh, looks about the same. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, again, this is not the final product. It's only five seconds of gameplay. We don't know what the lighting is going to look like. Uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, I'm comparing it based off of off-screen yeah, yeah, footage. Yeah. So. Um, my phone is going off. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, some other things to note. Um, there's wires, which I've heard the Game Explained kind of thinks that maybe you can jump on these wires, like similar to well, Sunshine. I mean, 3D World had wires, too. Yeah, 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 3D World as well. As, I mean, I, I think everyone... One has wires, honestly. Well, no, not 64 didn't, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, I think yeah, all yeah. of them had, to a certain extent, that wire. But I get what you're saying. They do look like more sh sunshine wires. Okay. Now, this is... Okay, I think we're done with this one screen here. This okay. Is, the next part, this is the part that's going to kind of solidify the idea that this In the isn't... desert? Yeah. So, if you look into the distance, there's a beacon or like a type of uh, like a oh, light yeah. shining up, which... I think is like like maybe the star or maybe like a like a 
what do you call it, like a marker or whatever where you have to go. Mm -hmm. um, but that temple in the distance, I believe that that's the same temple that we see in the next snip snippet of gameplay. Let's see. Next snippet. I have to go to the like very the, the next, yeah, yeah, like where the where the gameplay is, like where it shows like the next scene or whatever. Really, I think that that you think it like transitions right into this place? I think so. I, it, it, some of the, the like the way the structure looks, looking out from the outside, I think that that yeah, is. Yeah, I yeah, I can see where you're coming from. I want to see like I think the, my poor impression was just based on like how quick they cut it, and it feels like just you know it, it didn't really feel like a huge world. It just felt like. We went from one hallway to another hallway, but if they show a new gameplay where it's like just this huge, in, enormous world where you're traversing everywhere, that would be really exciting. Yeah, I, that's. I mean, when I just when I heard um, Game Explain mention that, I was like, oh my god, like that sounds freaking awesome. Like I want that so although, bad. Although, although to be fair, 3D World did have like it wasn't all hallways. 3D World did have a couple of levels where it was like huge expanses, but yeah, just yeah, yeah. nothing there. Yeah. Um on this screen here, I guess we can go ahead and look at like what's going on here with the bullet bill and everything. Um something that a lot of people are talking about is the heart in the distance. So Mario, I guess, is going to have hearts now. Well that's like a health pickup. Yeah, there's like a pink heart over there in the distance. I see it. I did not even notice that before. So to be fair, that's... Though, isn't this if this is prototype stuff, couldn't that just be like a random heart there? Like yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, like yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't want to. But I see what you're saying. This isn't final product. Like, we're, I'm just going off what we're seeing. That would be the first Mario game, 3D Mario game, where coins didn't. Yeah, I think 64 health. had hearts, I believe, that gave you full health. Yeah, but those were like, uh, those weren't like. They were regenerative hearts, like yeah, yeah, just yeah. stood in one place. You didn't really collect them or anything. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm thinking maybe that we could see something like that return, or maybe <laughs> Mario has hearts now, which would be pretty cool. Actually. That, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather just stay, keep hearts with Zelda. Just let. Uh, <laughs> why change what isn't broken, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coins for health. I get that. And uh, something else. There's some vegetation over there. There's like um. Yeah, those cactus balls or whatever. Yeah, and if you like zoom into that little pink thing where the vegetation is, it looks like you can jump off of that because there's like a something floating above it. Yeah, um, or it looks kind of like a ramp. So maybe if like you run up it, you'll like go into like the wall run or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even think about that. You're right. Yeah, that could also be it. Um, there's these rings here, which I I don't know what it is. Oh, I, those I, are I, no, no, no. I know those are classic 3D land world rings where like you jump through them and you and get you rings. Get, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I think you get coins. Yeah, um, that's pretty interesting because we see this platform moving here and it looks like it's only moving. Back but those and forth. rings, those rings are what made me think like, oh shit, this is. 3d world again oh yeah well I, I, it's safe to assume that they're definitely going to take elements from 3d world regardless wh whatever this game is they're going to take ideas just and don't, stuff that... yeah just don't take the bad elements <laughs> and then i'll be fine um another thing to mention if you look at this there's like ice walls everywhere like yeah. you see that's like mirrored kind of like it looks like this is covered like in a dome of ice perhaps what um, wait what are you like talking just look about at this, look at the side wall here like that's that goes up i didn't notice it went up i just thought like i saw an icicle thing over there i thought oh okay yeah um I'm... also something that uh is in the game explain video in the dirt down below there's like something kind of digging out and then starts crawling around down there which what? makes me think that I if you fall if you fall through. down there, like I don't think that that's death down there. I think that you like have to get back up here. Yeah, I, I think see it. Yeah, there's like level down there, I believe, where you can like explore and do other stuff down there. So that's well, kind mean, of interesting. Three D Mario's aren't really. That could be it, but like I don't think three D Mario's are against like instant death spots either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, there could be like a vat of spikes or something below this this uh, little structure here. Yeah. Um So. I, I mean, I think we kind of dipped into everything that we see here. Um, I like, like, I love the Day of the Dead theme. Like, I absolutely love that. I think that's really, really cool and colorful and awesome. I love the way these, like, NPC-looking little standing characters look. There's, like, a little cactus skeleton guy dancing, which is really cool. Um, oh, why know what I notice? What? I noticed a fruit from Galaxy 2. 
Yeah. That Yoshi yeah. would eat. Yeah, that looks... I am I think it's pretty much confirmed that Yoshi's definitely going to be in this game. I mean, Yoshi's been in the last few Mario games. Yeah. Um, well, like, at least the big Mario games. So I, I think that's somebody that could easily return. I just um, think that this shot right here is was a really poorly done shot to show a 3D Mario game. I think that it would The one in the better. structure? Yeah, the one in the level. Like, I yeah, think yeah. it would have been better of them to show, like, just the wide expanse, just to let people know that, hey, this is this is a 3D Mario game. Yeah, I think what a lot of people, I mean, what their concern is, is that the camera's not exactly moving around. Yeah, that too. I think that's kind of... That's the main word. That's what does it. That's what makes you think, like, oh, is this 3D world again? Yeah, and but that's the thing. In the town, like, there's buildings in the distance that, like... Yeah, you're right. ...would suggest that, oh, I can walk... Unless it's, like, a fixed camera above you, which would be really mediocre, in my opinion. I think that <laughs> this is... I think that would be so bad. I really don't want to see that. Um, but I think that you're going to be able to, like, move your camera around. I think there has to be because you see that bullet bill coming in. Like, it looks like you're going to have to be able to, like, turn your view to, like, you know, be able to oh, see for sure. behind you. Yeah, exactly. I think I think it is what that's what did it was that the camera wasn't moving. So I was like, oh, no, this is 3D world. But, yeah, yeah. It, it does look like it's a 3D camera, like a 3D world that you just move your camera in, unlike yeah. 3D world. Um. I, I mean, is there anything else you want to mention? Because I kind of want to dip into theories now. I have, I have some. Oh, you have theories? Yeah, I have. I did see. I did see your video about you predicting an RPG Mario esque, an RPG esque kind of Mario. <laughs> I don't mean like full on turn based RPG. Like, I don't mean anything like I've that. Like, oh, Mario! Like, level I 13. saw that. I was like, oh no, is he getting like level based Mario's now? <laughs> no. Level okay. Up. All right. Go I'm, gonna, I'm just. Streets. I'm gonna dip into a theory. I want. I want to know what you think about this. I think that in this game, it's not going to be Mario Galaxy or Mario Universe. I think it's going to be, this is obviously something kind of stupid, but I think it's going to be something like Dimensions. Dimensions. Yeah, I actually we're, like that. Yeah, we're basically, cool. yeah, yeah. Basically, there's going to be, I think that this is one huge area that has multiple little levels like that temple in the distance. And if you keep walking, there's going to be something else over there that have other areas Open that you can Open world Mario confirmed. Yeah. Like, similar to, like, say, like, Uncharted 4, like, the Africa scene. Like, you think just, like, the, a big open area. Well, I'm, think, thinking, I'm thinking more, like, South Park, Stick of Truth open world. Like, yeah, those bus stops, maybe that's, like, a way to transport yourself from yeah, different areas. I, I think but that Paper Mario open world, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Where there's, like, going to be a one big area, similar to kind of, like, a hub town area. Yeah, and then exactly. there's going to be levels that kind of spawn off from there. Or maybe, like, side quests. Like, you talk to a little cactus dude, and he's like, hey, can you go find this for me I'd or whatever? I'd be totally cool with that. But I, it would have to be... It would have to be well done because you can't just have like five or six different paths. Like a 3D Mario in a game needs like at least 15, 15 yeah. to 20. Yeah. And each I, of those areas has to have multiple things to do in it. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's what, how Jack and Daxter handled its open world would be perfect in my yeah, opinion. That's a perfect example. Like just remember that first area in Jack, like, you know, where the grass is and everything where there's yeah. like little levels inside oh the level Jack kind of thing Dexter, so it, it's like it, it took 3d mario and then improved upon it with like just the way the world transitions into one area to another with no loading screens so good yeah i, I, I think it. that that's something that we can see in this i think that the bus is going to be like an At interdimensional the an interdimensional traveling uh, kind of vehicle where basically there's going to be multiple no worlds bounce? like this I mean, maybe Bowser. I don't know All if Bowser's the messing Mario around games with games. Have Bowser villain? Yeah, I mean, that would be really cool if we get a non-Bowser villain. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. All three, like that's tradition at this point. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Team Mario games all have Bowser um, as the final. But yeah, I think that this bus stop is like kind of like a like you Bass go to travel. it and yeah, like oh, do you want to travel to this dimension, yeah. that dimension, and the bus takes you there. And there's like another hub-looking world like this. Where there's a bunch of different levels kind of spawning off from it. I could definitely see that. I, I, I that's, I, I want to see that. Like I want exploration to return in Mario. I think that's something that a lot of people want. Like it's time. We need that big, expansive, not open world Mario, but just big levels. Like I want to be able to like walk around when and other the secrets last game, in the town. When was the last Mario game where you remember like exploration? Uh, sunshine. Yeah, that's that's the last one I remember too. Even when you get in the galaxy and stuff, those were 
more streamlined but yeah. sunshine is the last one that had like insanely big open areas where you're just yeah like, i mean just like delfino itself like that's yeah. a huge area to explore there's like fruits everywhere there's like locked doors that you don't know how to get into that's arguably the most expansive yeah. 3d mark and I, I love that like i love just being able to walk around the world and like oh how do i get up there like i have to wait till i get further in the game i guess oh i need yeah. a yoshi to get over here i wonder when i'm gonna get that like i like that kind of mystery like that, that unraveling the world kind of thing it's very it's, zelda zelda -esque. oh yeah yeah definitely and it's something that um, nintendo has mentioned before that the open world zelda game they said i don't i mean i'm paraphrasing here but they said that they're going to be using that engine for multiple games and i'm not wow. saying that this is this is going to use that engine but i mean maybe that this is maybe this i didn't is what think they were, they were that happy with that engine i'm not surprised though because that physics engine in, in zelda is top-notch good yeah I mean, can you imagine that those kind of physics? Maybe not to that extent, but those type of physics in a Mario game? Yeah, it'd be awesome. It's like like when you bounce off a bullet bill, it like goes goes limp and falls to the ground before it yeah. explodes or something. Yeah, or like this umbrella, like you can knock it down and it looks like nice actually. Yeah, yeah. Like that would be really cool. That does um, sound cool. It, I, 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 I like the idea of an expansive Mario game. I don't want to see another 3 I don't even want to see Galaxy 3. Like, I don't want to... I don't think oh, it's Galaxy 3. Oh, I could 3. totally go for a Galaxy 3 right now. I mean, yeah, that obviously that would satisfy me because Galaxy is an awesome title, but I want to see something new. I want I want something fresh. I want it to be new, but, like, I kind of lost my hopes for something new when they went to 3D World. Yeah. Because, I like, when I saw 3D World, I was like, okay, so you're not going to go in that direction I thought you were with super mario universe so you're toning it back and doing something different and i ended up not liking it so yeah well i liked it but you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um something else i still that... think they completely wasted the idea of super mario universe it would have been so perfect <laughs> oh yeah with, without a doubt like i i mario is basically just a cash cow on the wii u like the only reason they even cranked out those games was just to make money it felt like i mean new super mario brothers u that yeah. was trash and, uh, well, not trash. It's still a well-made game. Like, yeah. No, no, no. I liked you, but, like, it, it, was, you know definitely, I mean, it was definitely more of the same. And yeah. it got really repetitive. And they made, like, three of those games. There was, like, a Luigi-based yeah. DLC thing. that's part thing. of the reason why it got repetitive. Yeah. And well, it's something that makes me believe that those type of Mario games are done, especially New Super Mario Brothers, is that Thank Mario Christ. Makers... I think Mario Maker kind of just solidifies the yeah, idea that it, they're done with It makes with all Mario. of those obsolete now. Yeah, like I think 2D Mario is done. Like you can add DLC to Mario Maker or make a Mario Maker 2. You don't need to make New Super Mario Brothers Switch or whatever the hell. Yeah. Um, something else that kind of bothers me about this. What's up? Uh, my the only reason why I think that this could possibly be a type of Mario game similar to 3D World Blah. is the multiplayer. I mean, I'm not saying that that's confirmed, what? but you see, you, we see Karen. Um, as the memes entail, uh, oh, bring this thing outside no. with multiple controllers. I didn't even think about that. And I don't know, maybe she booted up Splatoon. Maybe she booted up yeah, Smash Brothers or something. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of, like, I'm just praying this, but I, I just feel like that's kind of going in a more assumption-based thing yeah, rather yeah, than, yeah. like, actually, like, oh, shit, they're multiplaying 3D Mario. I mean, maybe that's a good thing. I mean, maybe they're doing something new with the multiplayer. Maybe there's a multiplayer mode. Like, I don't really know. I don't know. I think th 3D Mario is mostly solo-based, in my opinion. Yeah. It doesn't really feel like a multiplayer-based game. There's too many... Why would you do that is the real question. Like, I don't yeah. look at Zelda and be like, oh, I want that multiplayer. Like, look at what they did with Triforce Heroes. Like, I... Keep multiplayer in multiplayer centered games and keep single player in single player centered games. Yeah, exactly. I, I agree with you. And I think that there's some things that kind of lend themselves to multiplayer, like with New Super I'm not sorry. Well, yeah, with New, New Super, Super Mario, Mario Brothers. Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that that's okay. Go ahead. I wouldn't yeah, mind if like they had a multiplayer game. to maker. Like Oh, add, that'd be awesome. I want that. Like then it'd be like a little big planet kind of thing. Yeah, that it'd be, be like cool. a, it'd be like a wow, that's a really good idea, especially for like harder levels and stuff. Yeah, like that that'd would awesome. be really, really cool. But this Breath of the Wild, like I don't, I don't want multiplayer in those type of games no. because that's something that I want to like sit down and just like relax on the couch and play. It's like, yeah, exactly. Like, those are games like those are games that are meant to be played alone and played 
just like as a solo experience like there's yeah. no point in trying to shoehorn multiplayer into it and arguably you could say the same thing about what they're doing with final fantasy 15 like you know there's like, no why? real reason you need there's, online yeah, there's, multiplayer there's that's why i'm not gonna buy it because i don't see a need for it like it's and that's just... why they're not like like forcing you to buy it yeah i i agree um so my theory of this is it's super mario dimensions that's the title of the game <laughs> um, there's this dimensional traveling bus. You always bus. go like full in with titles. Yeah. Like, you're just like, <laughs> that's it. Uh, there's this interdimensional traveling bus, similar to like Magic School Bus, if you must. Oh, that'd and be- you can you can travel across dimensions. Um, there's going to be shops where you can buy different hats. How do you, you go abilities. from one dimension to the other, though? Like on the main overworld without the bus. Like, how does oh. that happen? I, I, you won't like you won't be able to it's just like multi-tier oh i thought you were kind of thing. i thought you were talking oh okay i thought you were talking about i thought we were saying like the jack and dexter thing where like you when jack and dexter you can go from like the beginning of the game to the end of the game yeah yeah, all yeah, in yeah. one play like, I, I i mean that could be something obviously but i think it's just going to be like big areas like this that kind of have that jack and dexter where there's like little little areas that are like levels kind of yeah but you'll have to come back here and get in the bus to go to the next area that has similar, you know, level design where it's like, oh, now you can go over here or there. Um, I don't know. It kind of, like, I'm trying to think of an example. I really can't, honestly. I mean, like, that Uncharted 4 thing, obviously, like, where there's like, oh, this, this area is open world now. Oh, this area is open world now. Yeah. Like, that kind of thing. Well, um, like, very open, linear world. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't think we're going to see Like, I wouldn't full... call Jack and Dexter open world. I would oh, just yeah, say, yeah. like... Yeah, yeah, exactly what you said. Um, but yeah, I think the the hats you're gonna be able to get like winged hats. Yeah, um, I do like that idea of like being able to purchase like the power ups that you need to go on or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah, and this I I think there's gonna be like a kind of a not a deep narrative, but I think there's gonna be like they're gonna do something interesting with the story. I think like where it's like oh like maybe this moon is too close to the world, so things are freezing over or. Um, maybe that moon you can travel to that in this level maybe something can launch you over there like I, I think there's going to be something going on with the narrative that kind of is like oh like this is really interesting like I want to see something like that in a Mario game again where you're like oh wow like this is really cool like remember in 64 like just jumping into paintings like that yeah, was so cool like, that was awesome I, I love that little concept so I hope we get something I honestly thought that, that they were go- yeah I thought they were going to go do something like that I wouldn't honestly. I wouldn't mind if this was a painting. I wouldn't mind if they just did sixty-four-two kind of thing. Like I, that would not bother me at all. Like I, for, for real, I, I would not mind that. I they're doing. I wonder what they're doing. Like just as an overall, like they're for Zelda, they're going back, and for Mario, it looks like they're going back. Yeah. It looks like they have like this. I like it. I like this mentality of like going back to what worked and what people yeah. liked. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think that's something. I think Nintendo itself is kind of going back to what exactly. makes Nintendo that's what great. Gets, that's games. what gets me excited about, like the Switch and the games coming out for it. Yeah. Did I, you I, see I, that thing that Retro Studios isn't making the game they're working on isn't a Metroid or a Donkey a Kong? Yeah. Donkey Kong. That's it's like, interesting. That's exciting. New IP. New, new IP. <clears throat> F Zero. I don't know. Maybe. Um, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Retro Studio with F Zero. Yeah. That'd be <laughs> Anyway, I think we can wrap this up. Any final thoughts on this little snippet of gameplay that we see? I uh, What do you think about my moon theory? You think we're going to the moon? I think so. I think it, it looks like there's like it looks like that's a level over there or something. Like it doesn't exactly. look like it's just like a piece of paper floating in the sky, like oh it's Why would it be so prevalent in the sky? It's yeah. huge. It's massive. Yeah, it looks like actually it... you want to hear a full blown. It kind of contradicts things that you said. But why know what my theory is? Go ahead. I feel like I feel like the moon might be the hub. And then that places is like this really cool. are like places you warp to from the moon. Oh, my gosh. Super Mario moon. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Although it kind of kind of does make sense if that hat store is actually a hat store. So. Yeah, I don't know. I, I or mean, maybe this is... every, or maybe every level has a hat store for quick access to like buy a hat. Yeah. God, I'm so excited. This I haven't. This is. Thank you, base Nintendo, for real. Like I'm actually sorry. There's a boat out there. I'm uh, actually excited for Nintendo games. What is this? What's happening right dude, now? Like this. I I was watching <laughs> Zelda gameplay the other day. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> I know. I need it now. 
Yeah, me too. Me too. All right. I think we're just about done here. Thank you, Phenom Sage, for joining me once again for this discussion. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. (laughs) <laughs> it was uh, and yeah this this looks awesome thank you all for uh continuously being subscribed to me thank you for uh keeping up that subscription i'm back in full swing i'm gonna be making videos on a daily basis i'll try to get them out as much as possible i'm definitely gonna be recording with phenom sage i'll again. be here all the time yeah i think we're gonna do a discussion on uh the january 12th thing oh you think so oh yeah i want to do it okay we're gonna do a discussion right. on that Um, Thank you very much for watching again. Thank you for subscribing. You can keep subscribing, hit that subscribe button, and uh, hit that like button, and also follow uh, Phenom Sage on YouTube as well. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time... Oh, also, how can I not mention this? Comment down below. Give me your thoughts on Super Mario Switch. Let me know what you think this gameplay is. Do you think that we're just all madmen here just talking about nothing, or do you think that this is actually something substantial and is worth talking about? Comment down below and give us your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.